<sighs> I might have just made it worse. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video this is kind of maggie of the future you're gonna see maggie in the past attempt to fix my nano speedy if you guys have been keeping up with me i've actually been trying to fix the patina on my nano speedy handles because one of them was patinaing faster than the other so here is my attempt to fix my nano speedy so if you'd like to see what happened then just keep watching Alrighty, I don't know where we're gonna start this vlog, but I just got back from running a crap ton of errands and I just washed my makeup off and it's really, really hot and humid today. But I thought I would show you guys me doing this. So I have watched Miss Your Ashley's video, no joke, probably like over 15 times. And I finally decided to bite the bullet and we're going to do it on my Nano Speedy today. So I went to Target and they actually discontinued the Huggies Pure. Those are the ones that he uses online. I don't know if they discontinued them in America and then they have it in Europe. I know you can still buy them from Amazon, but I do not have the patience to order them from Amazon and then do it. He says that he has used the Pampers. He just likes the Huggies more. Some people on these like baby forums that talk about like baby care, baby wipes, stuff like that. A lot of them say that these water wipes are the new substitute for the Huggies Pure. So I honestly don't know which one I should use. I just want to compare because apparently the Huggies Pure is just like water and something else so I might just use the water wipes or maybe hmm okay you know what I'm gonna go with the water wipes because in Ashley's video he mentions I think towards the end where he's like these ones are just water and this is basically just water so let me show you some before shots do you guys see uh, the discoloration I don't know if the lighting can catch it so these bits are darker than the handles which really really bother me so when I left this out in the sun in the last three days I've been trying to let it get its own natural patina it hasn't really worked to be honest and I kept it by my window and I just used a towel and wrapped this whole thing and then I wrapped this side too so this side doesn't get darker because you guys can see that this one is tanner than this one and same thing with this i mean this side is pretty even these weirdly are still slightly darker like ever so slightly but on this side it's so apparent like do you see how white this is but then my straps and all of the detailed pieces right here are fine like they're not too dark but it is what it is actually this video says that what you do on one side you have to do to the other and i'll link his video down below if you haven't seen it but if you're a louis vuitton lover i'm sure you have he has the quintessential definition of a honey patina that we all should strive for so some things that i did read in the reviews about this is that these ones are are a lot more liquidy compared to the Huggies Pure. So that's my only thing that I'm worried about is my hands are washed. Oh my word, I'm terrified. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take the paler side and then, <laughs> oh my God, okay. And he just wipes the whole thing like evenly, I guess. Oh God. Oh, this isn't looking good, but you know, we're gonna trust the process. Oh, wow, it's really not looking good right now. I'm just gonna show you what I'm seeing. Do you guys see that? Oh, oh dear lord. But he says not to worry that it's fine. You just gotta let it dry. So he says what you do on one side, you should do to the other. So I'm going to do it to the other side just for purposes sake. If this side does get darker, then I think I'll just do an extra layer on the other side so and then we're just gonna I honestly don't feel like I need to touch the strap but I guess just for cohesiveness I'll do one wrap around imagine I no joke just destroyed my bag that would be hilarious like if I just covered it in water spots okay so we're just gonna do one wipe around like this and then he says you let it dry so i'm going to let it dry should i let it dry standing or i wish there was a way i could hold this up so i realized this mark right over here is because of the hardware i was look do you guys see like the difference this is so much darker than my handle and i hate it this mark right here is because of this brass bit so i'm trying to now keep my bag standing up as much as possible 
but yes okay i think my battery's about to die so i'll end this here but i will keep updating you because i'm going to be doing this for maybe like two to three days okay guys so i think it's about maybe three days later since i tried the whole baby wipe situation from where i stand now i don't recommend it i don't want to say that it doesn't work because clearly it works for monsieur ashley and his faqueta patinaed so beautifully and i wanted that for my bag in the whole experiments defense i couldn't get the baby wipes that he's the pure huggies i tried the pure pampers and then the wet wipes i think that's what they're called and yeah i kind of messed up my handle let me give you a close-up on it hold on so this is what my handle looks like hopefully you guys can see do you guys see how it's like discolored now so these bits right here are not from the baby wipes that's just from this hitting this little button right here but i'm pretty sure you guys can see how uneven it is now so i'm not upset about it more just like super disappointed i wish i never tried the baby wipes method i feel like i expect it to turn like a really nice patina and it just became really uneven like all of this discoloration when i first did the baby wipes i thought this was gonna dry down like this was just gonna disappear and it was just the temporary watermarks from the baby wipes but I've been laying it in the sun for the last three days and it just, uh, I really, really messed it up. It's basically kind of like it's gray now. Before it was just a lighter vaquetta and now it's just discolored. Like it looks dirty. So this is how I do it, just my makeshift version. Because do you guys see how this part is patinaed? right over here it's pretty apparent that these are two different colors like the color on this is so perfect and i just can't stand that they don't match but so i would just tuck it under like this and then this is how i put it in my mom's car because she parks her car outside this is just like a little anime towel that i have so like this so after I destroyed it basically with the baby wipes, I no longer use the baby wipes and I decided to just tan it. Everyone on purse form say that if you just tan it, the watermark will just go away because it's even. Yeah, that didn't work for me. It literally looks exactly the same. So, I mean, I already destroyed it, so I might as well use leather conditioner because if it wasn't just to tan it by the window or outside in the sun, everyone says to use a leather conditioner. This one isn't specifically for bags. This one is supposed to be for furniture, car leather, but you can also use it on bags and shoes. So we're gonna give it a go. There's no way I can destroy it more than I already have. And I know it's not destroyed, but it really bothers me how splotchy it is. I just, I would be so fine if this just got super dark. Like that'd be fine as long as, I just hate that it's gray. Like it's essentially gray and that really bothers me. So let me just give you a 360. See this side, it's just like a light patina. It's even. And then this side, because it's been in the sun, so this part is a little bit darker, but this bit right over here, it's just gray. Like you can really see it like that, so let me just make sure i'm gonna tie it again just to make sure that i only get the handles so the instructions say clean the surface and then allow to dry and then apply a small amount of leather honey which is this to a lint-free application cloth and i'm using a microfiber towel and then coat the surface of the leather so here we go so i have a yellow microfiber cloth because i mean worst case scenario maybe the yellow will transfer and then it'll help it get like a golden patina so i'm gonna fold this we're literally doing this live so if it looks terrible then all hope is lost honestly 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 and even if this doesn't work for this bag my car seats are leather and i need to fix it regardless okay. mind you no one on any of the reddit forums or anything like that told me to use this brand specifically there was this other brand that a lot of people were using but they don't sell it on amazon so okay guys let's give this a go so it says apply a little it's like a gel consistency did you guys see that okay maybe i need more <laughs> i'm getting so heavy-handed okay i think that's enough hold on so it's like even like a little like a sandwich okay 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 we're gonna do it. I'm about to do it. Okay. So how do I make this? Okay. I mean, technically this is a leather conditioner, so maybe it's just gonna make it not dry, but I hope it helps color it. But we shall see. Should I add more? I'm not sure. 
I'm gonna add a little more just because I mean we're already this far along so just stay committed with the cause <laughs> imagine everyone's watching this and they're like Maggie you put too much I know like the key is like even pressure I think my plan is so apparently the instructions is to let this dry overnight preferably over two hours and then maybe I'll tan it again so maybe since it has this like conditioning on it if I dry it out it'll help it age faster maybe I don't know maybe that's just me wishful thinking see this is exactly how it looks like after I did the baby wipes where it's like let me show you so do you guys see all of these little splotches I really don't know how clear it is on the camera but it's very apparent like this bit right over here you can see so this splotch just imagine it all along here see, this side is patinaing so good and so are these little leather bits but I just can't believe that I destroyed it with baby wipes so this is just a tragedy like oh that's really obvious do you guys see that I'm gonna focus it it's very very it's basically gray at this point because of the baby wipes before it was just a lighter shade of this but the vaquetta was pretty much baby vaquetta and now it just looks horrible like i really just can't stand it like it's very clear the difference on this so that's just really really unfortunate hmm, i might have just made it worse but we shall see okay so i'm gonna let this dry for the whole night and then re-tan it and then i'll give you the final verdict of my hopelessness to see if i fixed it okay so this is present day mags right now and this is my current status of my nano speedy so i i don't want to say i destroyed my handles but we're just going to over dramatize so you can understand that i did mess it up so after me trying to fix this for about two and a half almost three weeks so my bag did get tanner but it is still extremely uneven in my personal experience the baby wipes just completely destroyed my handles and i don't mean destroy as in they're like unusable but in terms of what i was trying to achieve which is just essentially a darker patina i wanted my handles to look like monsieur ashley's handles and that was just not the case so here's the complete breakdown so this part right over here is the darkest on my entire bag because i just kept single-handedly trying to tan this and it wasn't until maybe a week into me attempting to fix this that i i was like oh crap i actually have to cover this when i tan my bag as well so this part is now darker than any other piece which i do need to fix so this side did get slightly more patina than when i first started but the whole goal was to fix this and as you guys can see, I really don't know if it's going to pick up. I'm going to try to insert clips if this is not clear enough while I'm editing. But do you guys see basically the spottiness right over here? Especially underneath the handles, that's when you can really see how spotty it is. And then especially right here, do you see the clear difference in color? This is like a true honey patina and this is just messed up. So before, this was just light. That was it. All I needed to do was tan and because uh, I was just so desperate for it to be even in the speed in which I wanted it to be even, I decided to try baby wipes and it just really didn't work. I didn't buy the exact baby wipes that Monsieur Ashley used. I used the ones that were available at my Target, but they had no alcohol, no fragrance. All it was was just water. And then I think like grapefruit ex extract or something. So I don't know if it's the grapefruit extract that messed it up, but ever since then it made it super splotchy. I also think maybe the pressure that I used on this wasn't great either. Luckily, this side doesn't look that bad. So you guys saw in the earlier clips that I did baby wipe this part and if you look super close so from far away it doesn't look that big of a deal whereas even like just this type of distance you can see how splotchy it is whereas on this side only if you look at it close 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 up that you can see slight splotchiness i think it isn't as apparent because this handle wasn't as light as the other side whereas because this side was lighter that's why the splotchiness is so obvious when i showed it to my mom like this instantly she didn't even need for me to bring it up close she's just like oh wow like it's very very obvious when you compare it side by side like this I mean, it's darker than I started with, but it's still not even. You can tell that this one is still 
a slightly darker than this one and i honestly have just given up on fixing this i'm just gonna be holding my bag like this so the splotchy side is just gonna stay against my body luckily i have my new mini speedy hl so if i wanted to use something top handle with patina i have that i think that's why i'm not as stressed out about this as i was before but this does bother me like it's not even it's very spotty what you guys see on camera that's what it looks like in person you guys can even compare do you guys see how this Vaqueta right here I wanted this to be this color and yeah so there's that can you guys see the difference between my Alma BB oh my gosh dear excuse me excuse me ma'am I see how this is kind of gray toned now purely because of the baby wipes it didn't look like this before Whereas this has patina on it, whereas this is super uneven. I've showed you guys this before. I have a lot of water spots on my Alma BB, but the patina on this is actually, I like the color. It's just obviously the water spots. But if I had to pick between the baby wipes damage and water damage, I actually would rather have the water spot damage. Like my other one is still fine. Like this one is patinaing nicely, and this was the side that I was trying to make even. And it just, uh, I'm just so upset that I did the baby wipe. Okay, so my camera just died, but I really wanted to finish this video. So I'm sorry for the angle and then just kind of the impromptu. So just to finish what I was saying is that I just got tired of not using this. I haven't used this bag in no joke a entire month because I've been trying to fix this and nothing seems to be working and I've honestly just given up. Unfortunately, this is what happened i wouldn't again i wouldn't say that i completely destroyed my speedy like that's being over dramatic it's not like my vachetta is peeling or anything like that but i did definitely make my handles worse i definitely tell you guys to proceed with caution when you guys are using baby wipes but if you want to play risky business maybe do that i don't know if one of the main reasons that it didn't work is because this bag isn't brand new this bag is easily three years old so maybe the baby wipe method only works if your bag is brand new like the vaquetta is straight out of the box super super beige light pale color maybe when it's that fresh it could absorb the water more evenly where since my bag is three years old maybe there's kind of some oil here already so it doesn't absorb the water as evenly is what i'm deducing from this entire situation any of you guys tried the baby wipe method and did it work out or if it didn't work out for you guys please let me know that in the comments i would love to discuss about this because i'm pretty i'm annoyed i'm un very very annoyed but as always i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really does help support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys okay so i actually wanted to insert this part really quick just for i don't know peace of mind for both of us so basically i used this back today obviously today was the first time i used her in a very very long time and then i just wanted to mention that i went with two of my friends both of which they do not care about designer bags and she was sitting in the passenger seat and was holding this bag for me and she was like oh my gosh this bag is so cute and not once did she say anything about the vaquetta on the handles the fact that it's discolored i think with just us and being luxury lovers we notice all like the super minute little details but my friend who doesn't really care about designer bags at all didn't even notice that it was discolored or anything so here i am thinking and worrying that when people see this bag they're like oh my gosh her handles are all splotchy and gray and the fact that she didn't notice it and she picked it up and she was looking at this bag i think it's just because for me i'm constantly staring at this bag so i just see all the splotchiness it's like rubbing it in my face i guess just to normal people that don't really care they just think this bag is cute and then that's that so that actually makes made me feel a lot better and i'm not as annoyed as i once was i thought for me it's so quote unquote obvious but i guess it's not so little food for thought and i feel a little bit better so now i'm just going to use this bag and just let it naturally patina i wish i had this frame of mind before i made it splotchy but you know you learn and you grow